So in summary, we have discussed, we have defined what rotation is, we have defined what a rigid body is, um, and then we uh, introduced some kinematical quantities associated with rotational motion, which is angular position. Again, angular position, you start at some origin. If the rotation is um, counterclockwise, then the angular position is positive. If the rotation is counterclockwise, you have angular position is negative. And then we can also define average um, velocity and average acceleration. And then um, the instantaneous quantities are just time derivatives of the position of the angular position and the angular velocity, respectively. Now, to determine the direction of the uh, uh, angular velocity, you just use your right-hand rule for planar motions. And we also, if the angular acceleration is constant, we can use, again, your kinematic equations for, uh, for acceleration. Um, basically, you have, these are just analogs of rotational, of, of kinematic equations for now for rotational motion. And we also have these equations here. We can compare that with uh, kinematic equations for linear motion. Uh, basically, para sa form yan, binalitan mo lang yung variables. And uh, we also related linear and rotational quantities such as the arc length, the tangential velocity, the tangential acceleration, and the centripetal acceleration in terms of the, their angular counterparts. Okay, now um, let's now go to rotational motion. Uh, we will discuss more on that uh, next time. We'll focus on rotational kinetic energy and then after that, rotational dynamics. Are there any questions for this talk? May tanong ba? Okay. So if there are no more, more, uh, if there are no more questions, thank you very much for attending. Um, have, a, have a happy weekend sa mga kasama ko rito. Doon sa mga nanonood via YouTube, thank you very much for, for watching this video and I see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul.